<laughs> this sand is under the snow. <laughs> so true. All right, welcome back to a castle game on Arctic territories, where both players are according to home city stuff. 1800, so we can expect a close match, either wise. Curious how India against Spain is gonna play out here. It's not a mess work. So, I'm curious what India goes up to. Because I'm quite sure India can't play it out in H2. You can Spanish H3. Because they have to go to H3 for their siege elephants. So you probably could go for some sort of... You could probably just go Fast Fortress behind it. I think you have to go Fast Fortress. Against Spain. It's gonna be quite tough, because Spain has such a huge tempo advantage over India, which is hugely relying on their economic scale to outscale your opponents in terms of economy. Yeah. And it's lagging again. Cool. Did we crash? We did not. And we're back. <laughs> what was that about? This black screen, uh... Not only cleared the screen, also cleared my brain. Would you rely on eco to outscale their opponent? Right. <laughs> That's what I was on about. Why well, Spain usually relies on their tempo because they do get faster shipments in terms of XP. They do rely usually on their tempo to crush your opponent. You get a TP go. 9.9 .9 out of 10 times naked fast waters and then hope for the best and crush your opponent with the pretty s not strong shipments in general but very fast consecutive shipments like two falconets nine rolleros five lancers 12 pikes back to back to back pretty much thanks to their 87 percent shipping xp if i can recall correctly Something like that. Oh, what do we got here? Tamed a wall. What's the name of this? Buck. Welcome to the team, Buck. Hope you can understand each other very well. I mean, I guess they are the same race, dogs and wolves. One's domesticated, one isn't. Since he's tamed, you can say he's a dog, right? Since dogs are not, not more than domesticated wolves. Okay, so three words into capitalism from Spain. Let's look what India is up to. India has gone, uh, has just sent the distributism. Has a really early age at 245. If he is remembering to click up the age button. Okay, he does. He does go for an agrafort in the middle. Makes me think that he's trying to go aggressive against Spain. Spain isn't aging quite yet. He's gonna edge up as like 310. Maybe a little sloppy of the NH1. Because usually Spain doesn't have any problems edging up at three minutes. Which could play in India's hands. Because he does have the tempo advantage in terms of the edge up. Does have a lot of builds on wood, a few on food. Does not build a market yet. Makes me wonder if he's saving up for the consulate, maybe? For a quite old Ross, there's a lot of musketeers. We're gonna see. Then 16 will have Spain. Yeah, that makes me think that he might have had some troubles on getting the food together to age up. 
the way it is starting to go for another will. We will see how it goes. Because it does give Jeffet a quite decent tempo advantage. He is just with one will on the wonder though. So he actually gonna age up at the same time as Spain is. If he would have decided to go for two or three with on his wonder, he would have aged a little earlier. Because remember, each. So I can build a maximum of eight wheels on the wonder. The first four wheels you gain on the wonder each decrease the age of time by 10 seconds. And the other four wheels you get on the wonder from four to eight decrease the age of time by five seconds. So look at that. They're pretty much going to age up at the same time. Besides that, India had a really early age of like 2.45. And I think India is like, God damn it, I wish I would have gotten a few more villages on it. But one thing would have enabled him just with one will building the wonder is that he was able to get pretty much all the market upgrades in the transition phase. So his economy is going to be really strong. Chow is going to be go up in base because I think that Spain did scout it. Yep, he indeed scouted that. Got seven coins, seven hundred wood. Jafet himself scores for seven hundred wood for his card. It is a quite nice card to have because it's enabled to pretty much for your TC to work for free, quote unquote, for the next few minutes. And not of any wheels on wood at all. If he remembers to collect the wood, that is. It's gonna collect 135 XP, so it's like Pretty much his next shipment. Pretty soon. Yeah, it is actually going to be his next shipment. It's so good. It makes me curious what the next shipment is going to be. Jafet is cracking the wood. Has a little bit of idle time. I actually goes for foreign logging. Okay, interesting. He was deciding on five seaports, but he was housed, so I think that's why he decided to make. I'm actually going to go with total <laughs> intrigue now. Okay. So I think he said it now. But I see we're trying to come up, but I don't think that was gonna finish in time. It does. Wow. At the cost of a lot of village seconds. Just gets three sea boys out. Does have ten sea boys now. Spain should be aging. Yes, it is. It's gonna age with a scout. It's gonna give him four hussars. When the Tebow cut down, it is going to hurt Spain a bit. Spain is still going to have the, a ship in available in the third age. Jeffet, yep. Makes one if he has a um, coin still already up. No, it's not. It's getting built by two villagers. It's the right thing to do, in my opinion. Because building with just one villager takes a little bit too long. One thing I do love is that Spain is trying to get as much value out of its explorer as possible. Because Explorer does have four more range and has more movement speed. So let's be really careful that he doesn't lose his Explorer. Or barely. Barely manages to escape. Ugh. Lucky him. Trying against addition more Musketeers. Can only pretty much train only two units. The Royal Arrows or the Musketeer. Musket being more of an on Roar unit. Makes sense that he's training them. Jafet has a ship available. What does he go for? He's allying himself with the Ottomans. Which makes me think that he wants to go for four builds. Seven coins on the way, which makes me think that he's trying to make an age up habit here. Let's have a look. So I think it's easy for a bit. I assume he's busy micring his army. Boss is coming in. Probably not gonna push in with too much. Yeah. Probably want to get some little bit damage coming to those musketeers. And I don't think Spain should take this fight at all. Because he's A, fighting with H2 army, which could have been H3 army. And he also has two Falkets available. It's going to be shipped. So I don't think there's any reason for Spain to fight here. He is just wasting his army, which could have been so much stronger. Because I think he wasted already two Hussars and five to six musketeers.
Well, that's that let's have a look what India is up to. He, he did send someone on coin. Still making more units. He's a little bit idle. What? It's so much coin available now. 1,000 coin. Falcons are here. Gonna slow the siege on the Agra 4. We're just tickling the Falconets. That's like 9 damage. Yep. Because it does have a uh, negative multiplier of 75% against artillery. Because it does siege damage. Oh, it does range damage in my mind. Oh, I thought it was siege damage. Okay, that's range damage. That might be the first cannonball to ever do range damage. Interesting. Okay. Oh, tire claws. Is this Peladino? I have no idea. Tire claws coming in against. You are handicapped pretty much. Oh, look at that. Look at XP when it, when it goes down. Boom! This is so much XP donated. Half a shipment. No, like three or four quarters of a shipment for Spain right there. And now India's like left in age too. And there's a lot of handicap too. It's only H2 Musketeers. Make the wonder if he's trying to take them up. No, actually no plans at all to take them up to three. Just hoping that the two Falcons are going to do heavy lifting. Take them off for the tier boys. Just three cavalry units right now. So the two of is gonna do a little bit of overtime here. And batch and shipping pretty much on queue. The only thing that he can still do is to get the two Mediman batches at once. And then push in and hope for the best. Because the longer India waits, the stronger is going to be the mass to defend the Falconers with. Which is like the main threat for India. Because all he has is sepoys. And these counter them quite effectively. Hey Bayman, what's up? So yeah. The battle of sepoys coming out. 30 bills on the town center. Boxing on the houses. And are they in range? They should be in range. Okay, they are now. Okay, good job at focusing those the Falconets out. So I think he didn't scout at the tire claws. So I'm pretty sure India has the other surprise factor on those tire claws. And these Falcons are really exposed. So. Oh, yeah, one shot has gone down. Okay. Oh, it's like the. <laughs> Tents of fire. Okay, it's retreating now. So now it's shipment available in India, that is. The. Uh, there they are. Redos has arrived. It's a pretty surprising amount of units that India has. 29 Seapots, 10 Tower Claws, 6 Azabs, and 3 Room Lords. So, chat, do you think you can write right click this? And he does have a bit of Lancers and a bit of Calf, which are going to raid. But, good thing about India, there's nothing to find on the right side. I think the good thing about India, they don't really need my chance. Because all the food you're gonna, ever going to need is for army. And if he doesn't scout, he does scout it. Okay, that's good. The Calf is exposed, though. Rumors can snipe the Falcon. That's not mind. He's doing a good job at protecting it. There's a snare. Rashbot's getting connected on the Sassars. Oh, but also it's army's a little bit split up. Okay, now it's gonna be the big fight happening. Big volleys. Regulars getting popped out, I think. I heard them. Nope, yeah, that's one regulars. Uh, what is it going down rather quickly? The fucking is still alive on our dogs getting trained. Ooh, I feel like this is gonna be a massacre. A reinforcement is big reinforcing here. Ten skirms plus another five skirms from the bag. And the other calf has died. Actually, eight skirm. It's like. It's like if, if uh, 
Spain would have had an eight skirm shipment. He must have forgotten these skirms in the back. Good for him at this moment. He was just going to die against everything that Spain has at the moment. India does have a little bit of an eco advantage, but not much to write home about. Because he does have the first wood trickle. And pretty only a four wheel advantage at the moment. Make it three. Because Spain did send capitalism and Spanish goals on the way. So Spain did the damage that he needs to do. Now he's gonna go greed into probably Spanish gold into a thousand wood. Which is the right thing. There's not much else he can really ship. It's only improvement cards for his army. Liberation was interestingly. Don't really often see that in uh, one year ones. It's usually tied to a team game. Team and card because it boosts the military trade time. Oh, beautiful flank though from the Sowers. Trying to connect to the skirmishers, but there aren't really enough pikemen to repel those. I mean, Sowers are quite weak, but they do heavy damage on skirms if they connect. But connecting is the hard part. Because they have a really low HP, look at just 225. And uh, Hasa has 320 HP. They are a bit cheaper than us too, but they are all no down. Pikes are still there, Scrims are still there. He doesn't even have to kite. Yeah, and he has running out of options here. He still suck an H2, has pretty much no advantage at all. No eco advantage, no military advantage, no economy, and uh, no tech technology advantage, that's what I wanted to say. And yeah, Spanish code getting collected. And India is also running low on Hansen base. So it's gonna be dice. He constantly coming up once again to spend his export. Ooh, we have a flank on the source once again. But again, there are pikemen to defend this. More than enough. To repair that. And yeah, next shipment should be available soon. Ventil Rodero is coming in. And I would assume that the next shipment is either gonna be Rod Lateral Combat or a Thousand Wood. I would rather go with a Thousand Wood here. Which can be used for Falconets, for example. Because you get not only a Thousand Wood, but also 400 coin. So, 250 wood can be used for an artillery foundry, plus for falconets, which means you still have 350 wood available. Plus 400 coin, which is a free falconet, pretty much. You can get at least a 4 batch of falconets out, I'm quite sure. Since you have a lot of handicap here. Uh, this might be our commitment, though. We're gonna see. The letters are veterancy. Now they're even carded now. So they're quite scary. Uh, that's what's getting so much work here done. Uh, yeah, more what's coming in. Which actually are better now. If they're fighting in, in pure melee, that is against Z Boys. Yeah, they're trying the best to snare those Rumoloids. Fight against the snare on. Skirmish are still focusing the. Musketeers out. And yeah, it's looking pretty dice for India. I don't think India can do much to come back into this game. Even if he goes for a raid and kills all these villagers in the front. Maybe even all the villagers on the left too. Don't think there's much... Even then, India would have had a hard time. Just because India doesn't have any military at all. And once that gets scouted, let's have a look. Oh, it didn't scout. He mad with Spain knew where India is gathering. Would have been like 10 volts down? Let's have a look how many there. Adi? Yeah, 11 volts. That's like a third of his eco. Yeah, 37 volts is committed to 28. And yeah, it's looking rough. Down with the score, I think it's quite over. Don't think it's officially 
anything that India can do here. Spain even mockingly aging up to the fourth age. Look at that. Getting the church on for some XP. Yeah, he's mockering for the age four. He's playing with his food right there. It's not that he can do nothing about his army right now. So he's just by trolling. He finally saw that. Look at that. His army now moving to the left side. Schlafett knew it. He's going to resign because his economy was exposed. To be fair, it is, it's quite a hard matchup for India to fight against a strong fast forward ourselves. Generally speaking, because they don't have particularly strong age 2 or age 3. They are good in both ages, but not exceptionally. Like Spain, for example, in age 3. Dumb. You know, we could have probably seen. We probably could have saw the church card. Like, church got to harps into the. Uh, what else was it? I thought they get also like another Merc. Or was it? Was it Irish Brigadiers that they get? I think they got Irish Brigadiers. Or was it Highlanders? Either Irish Brigadiers or Highlanders. That could have been the play right there. Sim was taking so much food and coin. Brigadiers, yeah. That he could have used that. For even more army. Uh yeah. Outgathered India. That's telling the story right there.